guys, this morning I wanted to share my quick morning cleaning routine with you. I have shared my full morning cleaning routine and it's one of my most popular videos so you may have watched it already. If not, I will link it below. But I get asked about those mornings when I need to head out the door. A lot of you have to head out the door for work every day or Sunday for church or on a Saturday for your kids games and whatnot and you wanted to know what I do on those days and how I can streamline my morning clean routine so that it really doesn't take all that much time. Now honestly, my regular morning cleaning routine doesn't take me all that long, but there are some things that I can do in order to really cut it down so that I can hurry up and clean up the house and head out the door and then come home to a clean home. That's what I wanted to share with you today. So I got up and I didn't straighten anything up. I just left it like it was. I got ready. I did eat breakfast because you don't want hangry Jen in the morning and I had my coffee. So I'm going to first show you around and let you see what everything looks like and I'm also going to show you how quick and easy it is to clean everything up and head out the door and then after a long day you get to come home to a clean house. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is typically what my kitchen looks like in the morning after everybody's gotten their coffee and breakfast and headed out the door. So there's always stuff left near the coffee maker. We do a nighttime cleaning routine, so I clean up the kitchen at night, my boys wash the dishes, unload the dishwasher and everything, and that makes it easy. I did leave some dishes out because I already had breakfast. Um, just to kind of show you how quick and easy it is to clean everything up, especially if you unload the dishwasher the night before. So there's a um, pan in the sink and a few things on the counter. Over here, I have a laundry hanging up that needs to be put away and a couple piles of laundry that I need to do. I'm not going to get to all of the laundry today. I usually do about one load a day. You all might clean up your living room before you go to bed. We typically have to pry ourselves off of the sofa. So we just leave it and I, you know, put everything away in the morning. So usually it's just pillows and blankets around straightening up, you know, the ottoman or whatever. Um, sometimes we have snack dishes and glasses and um, things like that out. So this is really quick and easy to clean up if you don't do it the night before. And this is the bedroom, typical unmade bed with blankets and pillows all over the place. Sometimes I have my book out. Um, sometimes I might have a coffee mug over there. I didn't do anything in here except for open up the shades and the curtains just because I needed to let some light in so you guys could see everything. And then the bathroom. Now normally I put things away as I'm getting ready, but I just left it out just to show you all how quick and easy it is to clean everything up. I did put my makeup away as I was getting ready. I just keep it all in that drawer. But I just wanted to show you that even if you know your kids are running in and you're talking to them and, you, and maybe you don't get things put away or you're on an early morning phone call or something and, and you left things out, that if you just give yourself a few extra minutes in the morning, you can clean up your bathroom quick and easy. And I'm going to show you what I do on those days when I have to head out the door. Okay, let's get started. One quick tip, wear an apron while you're cleaning up your house, especially if you're dressed up for church or headed out the door for work. You don't wanna get your clothes splashed with anything especially if you have nice clothes on for work. You're not in your cleaning clothes if you're headed out the door, typically. <laughs> so we're going to start by putting the dishes in the dishwasher. Like I said, I unload our dishwasher. Actually, my boys do it the night before so that we can put all of our breakfast dishes away. And like I said, normally they would do this. If you're wondering why we have this apple core, we have pet tortoises, and one of my boys cut an apple for his lunch, so he just saved it for them. So in case you're like, why on earth does she have that? <laughs> All right, so those are in the dishwasher, and I do have one pan that I like to hand wash, and I just do that really quickly. Instead of 
leaving the dishes out to dry, I just quickly dry it and put it away. Even if there are a couple things, we usually just dry them and put them away instead of leaving them sit out. Now I'm just going to quickly wipe up any crumbs. You don't need to wipe down all of your counters and like take everything and move it all, all over. We're just going to quickly wipe up any crumbs that we see from making breakfast or packing a lunch. This took me just over four minutes to get my kitchen nice and clean and it will be so nice when I come home and need to make dinner, I can walk into a clean kitchen. Next up, I am going to quickly straighten up the living room. So we're going to start by getting any dishes that you might have and put them in the dishwasher. Looking at the time on my camera, that took just over a minute to do all of that. Now it's time to make the bed. time myself again and that was just under two minutes so as you can see you can really get a lot done if you move quickly next up we have the bathroom and this is probably what takes me the longest and it really only takes a couple minutes I'm going to time myself again I do have a decent sized bathroom uh, I have to take care of all the hair on the floor and I have a lot of stuff out so I want to show you that you can really do this and it doesn't have to take a long time now, on days when I have to head out the door, I kind of spot clean the mirrors and the countertops because they don't necessarily have to all be wiped down really thoroughly every single day, especially if you have to head out the door. I do my normal cleaning routine and on normal days I will wipe down the mirrors and the countertops but if I have somewhere to go I just do a quick spot cleaning which is completely fine so if anything sweaters on the mirror especially behind the faucet I will just you know stream it around really quick and do a quick wipe of any little sweaters I just come in here, quickly wipe down the toilet, and do a quick swish with the toilet bowl brush. Now I'm going to vacuum my tile floor. This is so much faster than sweeping, and I can get all of that hair. That is 
is all clean. I put my rugs back and I'm opening up the shades. And that took me a little over four minutes to do all of that. So it'll be so nice to come home to a clean bathroom instead of one piled with hair products and makeup and hair all over the floor. So I have laundry hanging here and it is dry from yesterday. I like to hang as much stuff as I can. It saves on electricity and it's better for the environment and our clothes last a little longer. So what I usually do is um, have my boys put their stuff away either in the morning before they go if I think of it or after school and I'll quickly grab John and my stuff and put it away. For your laundry, there are a couple options. You can throw it in right after you get out of the shower in the morning if you want to do it in the morning if you have enough time. I don't ever have enough time if I have to be somewhere early to wash and dry a full load of laundry and we don't want to leave wet laundry all day in our washer. So you can either have it all set to go or you can use a timer. If you have a um, timer on your washer where you can set it to start, you know, about a half an hour or so before you get home, you can definitely do that. And that way when you get home, you can throw everything in the dryer. My laundry is in there and I just throw my crystal wash balls on top. I did a review on these almost a year ago and I still have the same ones, still use them. This video isn't sponsored by them, but I get asked about these all the time and these are one of my favorite things. So these are in place of laundry detergent and they last for up to a thousand washes. You just need to recharge them in the sun and they get your clothes really nice and clean and they're great for sensitive skin, safe for the environment, so I love these. I do have a discount code for them and I'll leave that below just in case you're interested, but I can put that in there and just leave it. You can go ahead and set your timer if you have one on your washer so that your laundry is done when you get home and then you can put it in the dryer or um, you can just go ahead and start it when you walk in the door and that way you can throw it in the dryer like after dinner or something. That took less than 15 minutes, so it was quick and easy, but it's so nice to come home to a clean home. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to see more of my cleaning routine videos, I will link them in the description box below. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. I have quite a variety of different videos on my channel, and I hope that you will join us. Thank you so much for watching.